While we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom, but how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight that ufc championship belt So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the Heavyweight Championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Bones Jones is ready to go, and that means so are we for our main event. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alex Politan Perea! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Heavyweight Champion of the World, John Bones Jones! Herb Dean, our referee Great for this fight. one. Great. Good. All right, here we go with round one, and we will see what Alex Padeda can provide for on court. Has any man or woman in UFC history vaulted to superstar at the UFC Hall of Fame as quickly as this two-division champion, Alex Padeda? His heart and soul is the striking, best striker in this division, and a lot of power is going to be coming his opponent's way here tonight. Huge D Lance. Nice side there by the All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this. That's exactly what he does. 
He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones's calling card. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Jones is back in full mount. Making all these shots count. Now he's got good body position, yup. Good work from the top here by Johnny Bone. Oh, big elbow. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch, he's starting to land. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. Oh, man, another nice leg kick is there. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Close guard, and he is back up to his feet. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Good combination there. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively, never doing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defense. But ain't his kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Marty right, gets the takedown now, DC. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Let's see if he can now take full advantage of it. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. And now he's got the back. All right, well, this is John Jones's real help. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Jones. Massive shot from the top. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Now he's going full mount. Look at that, going into the arm bar. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. Oh, that's gonna be it. Oh, he got out, how good is that? This guy is so aware, he never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. He checked that last one. Stiff jab there from John Jones using his length to great effect. 84 inches the reach from John Jones. That's going to give him an advantage against most light heavyweights, if not heavyweights, on this UFC roster. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely held up to it. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job of understanding the threat of the takedown. He's recognized it, he's defended it before it's even got started. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC, and he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round.
You ready to fight? You ready? Yeah. Check him out on your own. All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous year. It's going to be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It right. was always something different, but it always led to his opponent getting great top position. and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be proud. In the half guard, this pace is just absurd and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Arm still not out of harm's way yet. Look at all the pressure on the arm. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Lands with the ground and pound here. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was got to be careful here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Side control now. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his more Thai games. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Under three minutes to go here in round two. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. in his approach to defending takedowns. Otherwise, he's going to spend the majority of this fight flat on his back. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. This is where he wants to be. Well, he's got his back now. Jones is going for the sub here. What a tight arm bar. That is a fantastic armbar, belly down attempt. Oh, he got out! Now notice how he got his body all the way across to the opposite side. Now, he's in the on belly, but it's much better than where he was before. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Get the ball here. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Beautiful ground and pound, and that will cut it. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Round 
On to the next. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Just misses with that one. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Another kick to the leg now landed by Johnny Bone. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out and out of damage, and neither seems to bother by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the stage. All right, side control now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Pineda's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. He a lot of fighter better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Lands the ground and pound strike here. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. Jones is able to transition back to side control now. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Relentless pressure from the top by Johnny Bow. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there and not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love his accuracy, his ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. About two minutes here to go in round three. Jones is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Oh, right in the mount. What he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions, are what gets you submitted a lot of times. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he got to his spot. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely right. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping forward. They're excited. Jones' his nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight.
Nice defense to block that punch. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. 30 seconds to go in the round. as it gets, but that eye is downright nasty at this point in time, and you've got to wonder, given all the swelling, if that might even be a fractured orbital. Not good for Lynn. Beautiful job getting those hands up. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. Ready to fight. Ready. Yeah. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the race out. Oh, flying knee to the dome piece. Out of range with that one. Jab there by the champ. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Jones is blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. hand just out of range. Oh, massive knee up top. Jones's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Just over three minutes now to go. And that was the danger in the engagement there. Great timing on that double leg. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Nice. Going Kimura now. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, that arm's in a world of trouble. A lot of takedown defense, or sorry, submission defense is just being called and patient. is officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ringside position, but that condition is only gonna get worse as this fight continues. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Back mount now. Jones is in half goal. There it is, now he's going to mount. Big ground and pound. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Oh man, he's still targeting that cut and it is getting worse by the minute. 
Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strike. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. What a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurting for certain. Yeah, John, they're both beat up, but I think that is the key. The mental is what's gonna allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're gonna have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fight. Well, when you absorb damage like this, you start to worry about a guy missing the rest of the year. At what point, if you're the referee, do you call in the ringside position? Well, right now, yeah. I feel like a bit, a little bit ago. You could have called in the ringside position, and no one would have cared because you look at him and you see that he has been thoroughly beaten, and tonight is just not his battle. Final seconds of round four. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Right. And there's the buzzer right. indicating the end of round four. Man, this fight has been pretty wild. A lot of high octane output on both sides, and candidly, neither fighter looking too good here. <laughs> it's the output. I mean, both of these guys have got their foot on the gas from the start of the fight. They've worked really, really hard to get to where they are right now. They're both gonna have to rely on the toughness to drag them through the very difficult moments. All right, replay truck has been kept busy tonight as we get you some clips from that previous round, and maybe we can even isolate the strike that opened his cheek up. I mean, a cut on your cheek. While it's in a better spot, it is still so hard to deal with. Every time that gets hit, it hurts so bad. He's going to have to move his head here. Refocus and keep those hands up. You ready to fight? You ready? So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. But it is cut on his cheek is nasty, leaky, leaky. That thing is leaking bad now. position here, DC, you have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half Oh, guard. man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Jones's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, now he's attacking on trying. Ooh, that submission looks tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Oh, another beautifully placed shot right on that swollen area. Referee might call for the doctor here soon. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Totally somewhere smiling watching this guy land from the top position. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Well, this fight has been absolutely crazy. Both fighters continuing to target the head and the face of the other. I feel like we're going to get like an ambulance pick with these two guys later. Today. Yeah, they are both beat up. They are both unwilling to take a step back. They are both wearing the damage, but both okay with it in order to have a good fun fight. Oh, the ground and pound is there. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so caught in the face of such a big spot. 
All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here tonight. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, right and the result right is not going to change. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Another ground and pound strike gets home. We need to fight that. Oh, poor attack. Yup. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish and you get the net? You gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not the to win this fight. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really starts to become a factor, Chief. The swelling's starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness. There you go. There you go. One minute to go in the fight. Striking from every position lands a strike from the bottom. Oh, man, another strike gets through, and now things are critical. We got a lot of blood, folks. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Johnny Bone. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Under 20 seconds now to go. The ref will help you here. Just like the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Jones is really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. The Ladies official decision is in and resides rounds, with Bruce We go Buffett. to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 50-44, and 50-44. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John All right, so you heard it there from Bruce Buffer. Congratulations to John Jones, your winner tonight by decision. He can play the short game. He can play the long game. Tonight it goes to the cards. You know, as the fight gets longer, Jones has been here so much at such a high level that he just operates very effectively. Tonight he shows that once again. He relies on that experience and gets another decision victory.